dear students today my class is 8th class chapter 6 max chapter 6 squares and square roots exercise 6.1 before going to this class kindly subscribe king classroom for max and computer online classes first one <clears throat> now coming to the class 8th class uh, max chapter 6 squares and square roots exercise 6.1 First one. What will be the unit digit of squares of the following numbers? Eighty-one, eighty-one, two seventy-two, like that. These are the numbers. Okay. Solution. If a number has one to one or nine and its unit digit in 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 its unit digits, then its square ends with one. Since eighty-one has one. As its as its unit digit, a one will be the unit digit of the of its square. One into one is equal to one. Similarly, similar examples: ninety one, seven twenty one, and four four thousand three hundred twenty one. These are the squares. Second one: if a number has either two or eight as its unit digit, then its square ends with Square ends with four. Since two seventy two has two as its unit digits, and four will be the unit digit of its square. Two into two four. Similarly, similar examples twenty two two forty three, ah, uh, two thousand four hundred thirty two, one thousand one lakhs forty seven thousand three hundred twenty two. Third one. If a number has one or nine in its unit digit, then its square ends with one. Since seven ninety nine has nine, its unit digit one will be the unit digit of its square. So nine nines are eighty one. Fourth one. If a number has either three or seven as its unit digit. Then its square and number ends with nine. So three thousand eight hundred thirty fifty three has three as its unit digit. So nine will be the unit digit square, unit digit of its square. So three in, three into three is equals to nine. Similar examples thirteen four thirty three sixty three. Fifth one. If the if a number has either four or six as its unit digit. Then its square ends with six. Since one thousand two hundred thirty-four has four as its unit digit, the six will be the unit digit of its square. Four into four is equal to sixteen. Similar examples: fourteen, one fourteen, a four a four hundred eighty-four, fifteen hundred ninety-four are the another examples. Sixth one. If a number has either three or seven it in as its unit digit, then its square number ends with nine. Since twenty-six thousand three hundred eighty-seven has seven its unit digit, so nine will be the unit digit of its square. Seven sevens are forty-nine. Seventh, if a number has eight there two or eight and its unit digit. In as its unit digits, then its uh, square ends with four. So it ends at part sixty-four like that. Since uh, fifty-two thousand six hundred nine six fifty-two thousand six hundred ninety-eight has eight as its unit digit. Four will be the unit digit of its square. Okay, it ends at sixty-four. If a number has zero in its uh, unit digit, then its square ends with zero. So <coughs> nine since uh, Ninety-nine thousand eight hundred eighty has zero in its unit place, so zero will be the unit digit of its square. Similarly, same signal example: one ninety-eight, one ninety, twelve hundred forty, one lakh sixty thousand eight hundred fifty. And ninth one: if a number has either four or six as its unit digit, then its square ends with six. Since one one twelve thousand nine hundred seven twelve thousand seven hundred ninety six as six as its unit digit, six will be the unit digits of its square. Six into six is equals to thirty six. 
if a number has a five in its uh, unit digits, then its square ends with five. So since fifty-five thousand five hundred fifty-five has five as its unit digits, five will be the unit digit of its square. Five five is a twenty-five. Similar example one hundred five eighty-five three thousand three thousand four hundred twenty-five. So many examples is there for this. Okay. Second problem. The following numbers are obviously not perfect squares. Given give reason. Okay, these are the numbers. Eight numbers is there. Thousand fifty seven like that. This these are the numbers. Solution: The square of a number having zero, one, four, five, six, or nine. Its unit place. It is perfect square. Also, the square of a number can only have an even number of zeros and at the end. These are also perfect squares. In the above. Question: Unit digit of numbers ten ten thousand fifty seven twenty three thousand four hundred fifty three and seven thousand nine hundred twenty eight fourth one two lakhs twenty two thousand two two hundred twenty two and sixty four thousand ah sixty four thousand and fifth one. Uh, sixth one eighty nine thousand seven hundred twenty two twenty two two lakhs twenty two thousand and five lakhs five thousand fifty or seven three eight two triple zero two triple zero zero respectively because this thousand fifty seven has seven last digit like that this has three this has eight this this has eight this has two This has three digits. This has two, and this has three digits, and this one is zero. This is perfect. So these numbers are obviously not perfect squares as they do not end with the uh, zero, one, four, five, six, or nine, and also have odd number of zeros. Okay. Third problem: The squares of which of the following would be odd numbers? Four thirty-one and two thousand eight hundred twenty-six, seven thousand seven hundred seventy-nine, eighty-two thousand four. Solution: The square of an odd number is always odd, always odd, and the square of an even number is always even. Okay, square of an odd number is always odd, and uh, the square of an even number is always even. Since four three four hundred thirty one and seven thousand seven hundred seventy nine are odd numbers, so their squares will be will also be odd numbers. Let understand. Let's understand in details. We know that. The, when the units digit of a number 1 or 9 the square of the number will also be the unit digit ends with 1 we know that <clears throat> thus the square of 4431 and 7790 will will have their unit digit as 1 and thus they will be odd numbers okay fourth one observe the Following pattern and find the missing digits. Eleven square is equal to one twenty one. One not one square is equal to ten thousand two not one. Like this, this is the pattern. Solution. From the given pattern, we see that the square of a, a of the given number has the same number of zeros before and after digit two. as it's uh, it is represent it is present in the original number same square here 101 square is equals to 102 is the middle number 2 hmm? is the zero and 1 like that 1000 1001 square is equal to this one and this one like that same same pattern lambda square is equal to 121 One not one square is equal to ten thousand two hundred not one, and uh, thousand thousand one square is equal to one double zero two double zero one. 
and uh, this one one lakh one square is equal to how many zeros is there two zeros have represent four here and followed by two and these two zeros are represent four zeros here and one same these three zeros and these three zeros so one followed by six zeros one two three four five six followed by two and again six zeros followed by one this is the pattern okay observe fifth one also same like that observe the following pattern and supply the missing numbers supply the missing numbers so 11 square is equal to 121 101 square is equal to 1000 10000 to 201 1 10000 101 square is equal to 10203020201 same like that 10 lakhs 10000 101 square is equal to how much and this one is equal to how much like this solution the square of the given number has the same number of zeros before and after digit 2 and it has in the original number so 11 square is equal to 121 101 square is equal to 10201 10, square is equal to 10 20 30 21 again 10 lakhs 10,000 101 square is equal to 10 20 30 40 30 20 and 1 here here the pattern 10 20 30 40 50 and again 40 30 21 so here 1 0 will be added 1 0 will be added that's all okay this is the pattern using sixth problem using the given pattern find the missing numbers here 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square is equal to 3 square 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square is equal to uh, 7 square 3 square plus 4 square uh, plus 12 square is equal to 13 square 4 square plus 5 square plus dash square is equal to like that this is the pattern solution Let's find the missing squares in the pattern. The third number, the third number is the product of first two numbers, and the fourth number is obtained by adding one to the third number. This is the pattern. The third number is the product of first two numbers, and the fourth number is obtained by the by adding one to the third number. Here, observe that. 1 into 1, 2 here. Fourth number is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 square. So sum of these squares is always equal to this. 2 plus 2 plus 2 into 3 is equal to 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 square. 3 plus 4, 3 into 4 is equal to 12. 12 plus 1 is equal to 13 square. 4 plus 5 4 into 5 is equal to 20. 20 plus 1 is equal to 21 square. 5 into 6 is equal to 30. 30 plus 1 is equal to 31 square. Okay. This is the pattern, not a solution. Okay. 6, 6 into 7 is equal to 42. 42 plus 1 is equal to 43 square. Okay. Okay. Seventh one. Without adding find the sum okay 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 1 plus second one 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 7 19, 17 plus 19 like that third one is also there up to 21 plus solution sum of conjugate odd numbers is given we know that sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square just n square so 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 is equal to here uh, number of terms n is 5 so sum of 5 square is equal to sum is equal to 5 square is equal to n square is the formula okay sum of odd numbers natural numbers so 25 if you add this 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 
9 plus 7 16 16 plus 9 is equal to 22 okay n square is equal to 5 numbers is there 5 square is equal to 22 this is the formula same like that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 here number of terms is 10 so sum is equal to 10 square is equal to 100 same here third one 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 plus 21 plus 23 is equal to 12 numbers 12 square is equal to 144 if you add this we will also get the 144 please check it eighth one express 49 as the sum of seven odd numbers express 121 as the sum of 11 odd numbers okay solution we need to express 49 as a sum of 7 odd numbers and 121 as a sum of 11 odd numbers we know that the sum of successive of odd numbers is n square so 49 is equals to hmm, 7 square therefore 49 is the sum of first 7 odd numbers if you check this one 49 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 is equal to 49 okay let's count this these are the seven numbers sum of successive odd numbers 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 7 16 7, 16 plus 9 25 25 plus 11 36 36 plus 13 49 same like that 121 121 is equal to 11 square therefore 121 is the first the sum of first 11 odd numbers so 121 is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 9 17 plus 19 plus 21 and last one is the ninth problem how many numbers lie between squares of the following numbers 12 and 13 and 25 and 26 99 and 100 so solution the two n numbers lie between the squares of two consecutive numbers n n in n and n plus 1 so n here is 12 n plus 1 means 13 that is two n numbers lie between the square lie between the square of two consecutive numbers here n is equal to 12 and thus 2n is equals to 2 into 12, 24. 24 numbers between uh, 12 square and 13 square. Please check it. Okay. 25 and uh, 26. Here n is equal to 25. 2 into 25 is equal to 50. That is equals to 50 numbers lie between 25 square and 26 square. Okay. 99. 99 is equal 99 100. Here n is equal to 99 gives 2 into 99 is equal to 198 that is 198 numbers between 99 square and 100 square ok with this x 6.1 is completed thank you to completely watch the uh, exercise thank you student like the video share the video subscribe the 